we just, we got some things going on right now, okay? <laughs> hey you guys, it's your girl Renee coming with another banger, okay? So in today's video, we are going to be creating this flawless oh my goodness it's like a winter like blues type of look we got the sweater what i need you guys to do before we jump into the video okay because i tend to forget to tell you guys to do this and it's driving me insane it's driving me insane it's driving me insane it's driving me insane y'all hit the subscribe button after you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And then after you hit the like button, tell me, maybe like tell me like what else other type of videos you guys want to see because like I'm about to start vlogging like on a regular or doing like tutorials on a regular. So I need you guys like here for this, okay? Like I need you guys in tune with what I have going on. If you're not following um, me on Instagram, definitely follow me on Instagram so you guys can kind of keep up with my life. A lot of the products that I did use in this video is from Belvo. For those of you that are are new here, Belvo is uh, my makeup line, and we are looking for brand ambassadors right now, you guys. So definitely head over after you watch this video. After you watch this video, head over to my makeup line and sign up to become a, a brand ambassador. Um, so we're going to hit the subscribe button, we're going to like, and then we're going to comment. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, guys, so the first thing that I'm gonna start to do is basically just uh, brush my eyebrows up. Then I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter, the Retouch um, Primer. And then I'm just gonna basically put that all over my T-zone. Just like so, basically in the spots where I'm most oily. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my Urban Decay uh, Brow Wiz, and then I am just going to um, do basically just light strokes upwards. Just like so. I like to use two different colors for my eyebrows uh, when filling. I did do a full tutorial on um, how to create my eyebrows natural, full, fluffy, and all that. So I will go ahead and link that as well in case you guys want to reference my full uh, eyebrow routine. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take my concealer, which I am using the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Warm Beige. Now, you'll notice that um, when it comes to my uh, concealer, I'm basically just tracing the natural shape of my eyebrow and then just applying it all over my lid and then blending it out like so. And just blending some more. You want to really take your time with blending. Then I'm going to go ahead and start with the top of my eyebrow. And you'll notice at the top of the eyebrow, the concealer that I'm using is a little bit darker. So I'm going in with the Juvia's Concealer in the shade 13. And you'll notice also that I'm not starting at the, uh, the very beginning of my eyebrow I'm starting more towards the end then I'm going to go ahead and take my hourglass um, foundation stick in the shade warm almond and I'm just going to basically use that in the places where I would naturally contour because it this shade is a little bit darker than what I would like for it to be so I'm going to just have to you know make the shade work um, and blend so I'm going to put that in the spots that's more for contouring. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my Juvia's Concealer, again in the shade 13, and I'm going to put that in the areas where I would normally take my found, put my foundation, like, you know, basically all over my face. But again, because I'm trying to create the perfect uh, shade for my skin complexion because it's winter, you know, my, my skin is a little bit more on the peller side than it would normally be during the summer. So I definitely need to go ahead and get some <laughs> new new shades. And then I'm just going to basically use it to carve out and blend 
And I'm going to take the concealer brush um, from Jeffree Star. My brother bought this for me years ago. The whole kit. I love this brush. I love this brush. It's absolutely amazing. But I'm just going to go ahead and use that to basically blend in where I put the concealer. Then I'm going to go ahead and take the um, Sephora brush kit and I'm gonna go ahead and blend the rest of my foundation. And I'm going to make it to where it really looks flawless and it just blends right into the skin. I freaking love this brush, you guys. This brush, I swear by this brush. I love it, I love it. I prefer this brush over any beauty blender at this point in time in my life. <laughs> it's amazing. Just gonna keep pressing in, especially on the spots where I have, you know, um, scars. I'm just gonna press in to really make it blend um, and cover any of those uh, pigments, you know, discoloration. <laughs> Yes, it is just coming out amazing. It is just melting right into my skin. I love it. I love it. Then I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. And then I'm going to take the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, again in the, war the shade Warm Beige, just to kind of highlight those areas since the Juvia's Concealer is a little bit darker than I would normally like to use. And then I'm going to take this um, eyeshadow palette that I actually got from um, uh, from my BoxyCharm. I'm not sure what shade or what color this is because the colors weren't uh, labeled. But I got it from BoxyCharm and I love this color. And I'm basically going to go in with the transition shade first. Now I will tell you guys in advance, for some reason my camera cut off so it did not record i did not get the rest of the clip where i'm basically uh using um multiple um transition shades it just kind of it, it like basically cuts off pick back up and then basically I took the winter vibes palette from Belvoe the cream shadow palette and then applied it all over my lid and then blended it in but again you cannot see that because it cut off and then I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, basically apply some lip gloss you guys probably missed that part but <laughs> yeah cuz I'm going super fast here then I'm just gonna apply some Urban Decay Loose Setting Powder, which I per personally don't prefer this concealer, I mean the setting powder. I don't know why I keep using it. I just wanna give it the benefit of the doubt, I guess, that one day it's going to do right by me, but it just never does. But I'm trying it out again. We'll see how it works out. And I'm just going to Basically set those places just like so. And I'm just going to pet that in and I really want to make sure that I get around um, or basically in the areas where I tend to crease um, so that way it doesn't form lines that are you know, 
extremely visible. And then I sometimes also get super oily in my forehead. So I'll go ahead and pat there. Then I'm gonna take the Juvia's Bronzer Palette. Oh my goodness, you guys. These two shades combined just, oh, oh my goodness. Do you guys freaking see that? It just, it just does something to me. Like, you guys don't even understand. It is just absolutely amazing. And I'm just gonna focus that on the spots where um, I wanna contour. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe off the loose setting powder. And then take the contour and basically just contour my forehead. You guys know I have a big forehead. <laughs> Then I'll go ahead and start carving out my nose. Um, with my nose, I prefer to use the lighter shade just simply because like, I don't want a harsh contour on my nose. You know, um, I really want something that looks more natural. So I like to use the, the lighter shade. Now, if I'm going for a more dramatic look, then I'll go ahead and use their darker shade just to give it more definition. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and just use the lighter shade to create a more natural nose contour. Yes, yes, oh my goodness, this is just turning out awesome. I'm gonna brush that off and then just make it, you know, blend into place. And then I'm going to take Belvo's uh, Single Cream Shadow, and this is in the shade, um, I'm not sure <laughs> what shade this is actually. I feel like it's the Purple Passion. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'll link it below, you guys. But basically, I just added it as a topper, and if you guys see, oh my goodness, it really just created the perfect, perfect eye look. Oh my goodness. Now I'm gonna take Belvo's bronzer slash blush trio is like the best product that I've used. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take Belvo's loose highlighter and basically just highlight you know, those areas that I want to brighten up. And I'm using the shade Yes. Oh my goodness, Bevel's Loose Highlighter is absolutely amazing. You guys would love it. All right, and then I'm going to take Urban Decay's um, the lip liner. I don't remember what shade this is either, uh, but I'm just gonna basically um, outline around my lip and my natural lip line. I always have a hard time because I feel like my lips are like not properly aligned, like there's some type of deformity. <laughs> I don't know, but Basically, like I always have a problem outlining my lips. Then I'm gonna take Belvo's uh, Luster Lip Gloss. I believe this is in the shade Cashmere. I'm not sure, you guys. It's hard for me to remember the, what shades I, I'm using um, in all these videos. Like, it's just so much product. <laughs> But I love it. Like, it is really coming out to be the best look ever, you guys. And that is going to be it. I hope you guys like it. 
Um, definitely, if you have not already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Love you guys.